Welcome back to the channel. So this time we've got a photo build of the Airfix Mark 1 Wellington. So that's in one seven second scale. It's uh, their newish tool. Um, came out a few years ago, about 2018, I believe. Uh, so it's a bit of a twist. I'm going to be doing this one as a Coastal Command uh, aircraft, as we can see there. So this is one used by the uh, Czech Air Force. And uh, I've used an extra decal sheet for this, and this was inspired by a group build that was going on on uh, British Aviation and Scale in Facebook, um, but not part of the group build. So, kicking off, um, a few ill-fitting parts with Airfix, but due to the soft plastic, it's not a problem. Mainly caused by wanting to have the uh, bomb bay door shut. So, you know, you had to you had to pick your pick your side and get it down as good as you can, and then start blending it in. And there we can see the seam line along the fuselage as well. Uh, inside, you get the option to leave out quite a lot of the uh, parts for the fuselage. So I actually did that because you can't see any of them on this one. All of the windows down the sides painted in anyway. So uh, I just closed it all up, left everything out um, that I didn't need to put in there. And it's got a different colour in the, in the instructions for that. And then um, just sprayed it black and got the fuselage together. And here we can see I've started sanding down the uh, seams and all's looking good I uh, used a bit of super glue filler there as well uh, just to kind of basically get on with the build and, and not not mess about you can see there's a little bit of warping on the fuselage as well and this this is a common thing um, across other builds uh, then just test fitting the wings so uh, it comes together pretty fast once you've got the fuselage on um, the next thing is is the wings going straight onto a wing spa system, which is which is very clever and very useful. And even to this day, they're still left removable. So uh, it, very good. You can almost get it seamless if you push them on hard enough. Um, there we are now with all the bits done. So I've got some glass work done with the uh, front turret. I've just got the rear turret to do, cleaning up the props, wheels, cowling, and all of that. As I said, it is very quick. Uh, it, once you're through with the fuselage and the wings, you can you can crack on. So we've got the uh, clear parts masked up here and just starting to spray the white. So I gave this a black undercoat and then straight over with XF2 uh, from the Tamiya range, just mottled in that white to let the black sort of show through and give a kind of, or give a nice kind of dark broken up feel to the white. I think it's worked pretty well. I was quite happy with this. Um, Montex mask is, uh, has been used for the canopy masks as well, which is great apart from any of the tight curves. Uh, and there you can still see the white, white going on nicely. Um, and here you can see it peeling off of the curves on the turret. That's the latex mask, can't do a lot about it. So then we've got dark sea gray and extra dark sea gray or um, Dark slate grey, sorry, is DSG, and an extra dark sea grey. So I've used those two colours, which I think um, are a good match for it. Again, lots of confusion on these colours, so I didn't want to get bogged down in it. Um, Tamiya masking tape there for the high fuselage demarcation line, and freehanded it uh, on, on the wings, uh, using the extra dark sea grey as the base coat. So thinning down the Tamiya paint to spray on freehand which was which was no problem it went on really nicely and there we are showing close up of the wing just mask the underside uh, of that to make sure we don't get any overspray and uh, you can see the pattern there I had to just tighten it up a little bit it wasn't quite right I think when I looked at the uh, uh, there you go I, I've just added a bit more green on the on the left hand wing where it joins the fuselage uh, so uh, then it was a gloss coat and ready for the decals. Now I've used a gloss coat here just because I didn't know how the extra decals were going to perform. Um, and they were fine. They went on really well, exceptionally well, bedded down lovely on the fuselage, sunk into all the detail. But uh, I did have an issue. These are the roundels on here. They just never ever bedded down. They just did not stick. They looked fine and they, they sunk into the detail, but even after a matte coat, they just peeled straight off and I couldn't understand why and as you can see this is it matted down and they just fell off uh, luckily we had the set from the airfix sheet so uh, I just cut them off and put them on and all was well and uh, matted them down towards the end 
So then it's uh, final touches now. So spraying the cowlings there with a mix of uh, Tamiya copper and dark iron, I think it is. I also lost the antenna. Uh, so I've made that up out of a bit of sprue and fitted that on. I should have put the antenna wire on, but I, but I haven't. So that's something I'll need to add off, uh, off camera. And um, there we are unmasked as well. I also lost the pitot tube, so I made that up out of Albion alloys. And I also forgot to put on the um, radar underneath the fuselage, but there you go. This one's just for me, so there you can see I'm adding on the exhaust and the final touches, clamping that all down. So hopefully that's of interest. I, um, I'll leave you now with some uh, pictures. And uh, thanks for staying tuned to the channel. So this is... Um, this week's video and we're, we're looking to get on to weekly uploads now so next week we've got the first part of the Edward Spitfire Mark 1 in 148 scale so we've got the full build video of that coming in two parts so um, if you uh, are interested and you want to support the channel you can do so below by uh, checking out any of the links subscribing to the channel uh, giving me a like and uh, leaving a comment um, so thanks for staying tuned and I'll see you in the next video